Hey guys, it's Danny, and I am super excited to share this Super Bowl recipe with you guys. It is baked buffalo cauliflower bites. They are so delicious. We just made them on Facebook Live, and I wanted to make sure that you guys had the recipe too. So check it out and enjoy. Hello, hello, my friends. Danny Spees, clean and delicious in the house. How are you guys? I am super excited to share this delicious, clean and delicious game ball, um, no, game day snack with you guys. I am making baked buffalo cauliflower bites. This is the finished product. Um, basically, this is, has all the flavor and all the same idea of a buffalo wing, but instead of having chicken and deep fried wings, we've got cauliflower with a little bit of um, batter on the outside and then it's tossed in buffalo sauce and you get this great, if you come close you can see, it gets this little bit of a crispy edge to it, right? And it actually, um, I need to be wearing my microphone right now, but it really has a crunch to it, especially the parts that hit the pan, right? So any of the parts that have this nice edge to them, they have a nice little crunch, all, the, all those buffalo flavors. So this is a great snack to make for the Super Bowl, but I mean, it's also delicious to make for like Tuesday night dinner. So. Let me show you how you do it. Now guys, as you tune in, as always, come on down to the comments below, say hello, let me know who's watching, and let me know where you're watching from. And of course, if you have any questions, throw those in there too. Oh great, my phone's like loading, I can't get on Facebook. Uh-oh, all right, I'll check back in in a minute with that. But in the meantime, if, if there's anything you see that I need to know, you let me know. My phone's like updating right now, my Facebook app. Okay, so guys, to make this recipe, honestly, I used to make this recipe without the um, batter on the outside, and it was delicious, but it was kind of like not as exciting because you didn't get that crispy edge to it. It's kind of just like roasted cauliflower tossed in buffalo wing sauce. So I was doing some research to see if we could sass it up a little, and this recipe is actually right from the Frank's Red Hot website, more or less. I've tweaked it ever so slightly, but it's pretty much their idea their recipe and I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. And it was such a pleasant surprise and it's really easy. So I'm having the recipe for you guys today. So you're gonna take half a head of cauliflower um, and you're gonna break it into florets like I have here. So you need about four cups for half of the recipe, okay? Then into a nice big bowl, I'm adding white whole wheat flour. Now remember, white whole wheat flour is whole wheat flour. It's just instead of coming from red wheat, it comes from white wheat. So it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit fluffier, and it's great for recipes like this because regular whole wheat flour tends to be very grainy and very heavy, and the white whole wheat is quite the opposite. It's very much more delicate. So I wouldn't recommend swapping this for regular whole wheat flour because you're gonna get a much more dense result. Then I'm adding just about a half a cup of water. Uh, I'll show you the consistency we're looking for and if we need to add more or less water. <clears throat> and then you add some seasonings, okay? So we're doing one teaspoon of garlic powder, right? Because you want to season the batter because that's what's going to coat the cauliflower. So that's where we're going to get a lot of our flavor from. Cayenne pepper, totally optional, but if you like a little bit of extra heat, go for the cayenne pepper. I also like to do a little paprika. You could do onion powder. I mean, any spices you would like to put on your buffalo wings, you could add to this batter, okay? So I just mix it all in there. And then you're going to grab your fork and... Mix this all together, and I can see already I did not add my enough water. There, half a cup. Okay, so you're looking for kind of like a loose pancake batter consistency, and you want to make sure that all of the spices are mixed throughout the batter because, again, that's what's going to season our cauliflower. What could you use if you wanted to go with gluten free? You could do brown rice flour. Brown rice flour. I have not tried it, but I have seen online people talk about doing it and that they've had success. So if you need to go gluten-free, guys, sub in some brown rice flour. I'm gonna get one more splash of water. I want the batter to be just a little bit looser and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this is what we're going for. You don't want it to be like a paste. You want it to have a, be a little bit runny. Again, just like if you were making pancakes. You're welcome, Sabrina. <laughs> so once you get your batter where you want it, like we have here, then you're ready to toss in your cauliflower. So I'm gonna take that cauliflower and I'm going to put it right into the batter. And then you could use your hands. 
I'm gonna use a spatula to try to keep my hands clean right now. And you're just gonna toss the cauliflower around in the batter. Okay, now remember, the batter's got all the flavor, so you wanna make sure that all of your cauliflower has a nice light coating of the batter, and we're gonna let the excess drip off. Stay right there. Then, get your oldest rimmed baking sheet for this, guys. This is the one you wanna get, the one that's all brown and destroyed. That's what these baking sheets are good for. So get an old one and spray it down with some cooking spray. And then you're just gonna put your cauliflower out on the, the um, tray. Now I personally, I don't like to just dump it on because I don't want all the batter to, to spill all over the tray and stick together. So what I'm going to do is grab this spatula. Okay. Do you want to think it's on? No, I like this. And just drop it like that. Okay. Now here's the key. If you're doing the full batch, I highly recommend doing two trays because these will, you don't want them sticking together when they cook and they will because that's like, see, it's like a little batter on there. So if they're all next to each other, you're gonna end up with one big piece of cauliflower that's stuck together. And that, my friends, is not what we're going for. Okay, so look at that, very cool concept. I was very excited to discover this and even more excited to know that I got to come on live and share it with you guys today. I'm curious, what are some of your favorite Super Bowl snacks, guys? Come down to the comments below. Let me know some of your personal favorite Super Bowl snacks. Rinsing my hands. Okay, so once you've got that all set up and ready to go, this is gonna go into a 450 degree oven. How perfect is that timing? 450 degree oven for 20 minutes, okay? Once the 20 minutes is up, let me show you what happens. It's going to look like this. Stay right there, I'm getting a little thing to stick underneath. Okay. See how it's crisped up and it's coated this batter. And if you look on the side that's down, it's starting to get this nice brown edge to it. Now it's going back in the oven for another 20 minutes, so it's gonna get even more crisp. But this is exactly what we're going for, okay? How cool is this? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hot sauce. Oh, so you're just flipping them? No, no, you're not flipping them. You're not, not even flipping them. You're just getting them all. I was just showing them. Okay. Kinda gotta get them all to the center of the pan. These are hot, so be careful. And you guys can use any buffalo hot sauce you want. I'm going with the classic, the Frank's red hot sauce. And I have to tell you guys, I was surprised, pleasantly surprised. The ingredients, it's red cayenne peppers, vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. So nothing crazy in there, which is kind of nice to know. Could you line it if you wanted to? Could you line it? You know, yes, tray if you out? wanted to keep it cleaner, if you wanted to make uh, clean up easy, just do um, some foil but still spray your foil, because it will stick if you don't spray, okay? So once you have this going here, guys. Sorry, I need another spatula. Hang on, friends. Stay for just a second. Rinsing off my spatula. Okay. Here's what you're gonna get. Yeah, that's the final product. Then you're gonna take your Frank's hot sauce. I have a quarter cup for half, for half of a head of cauliflower and one teaspoon of butter. They recommended like two tablespoons, but I just cut way back on it. I bet you don't even need it at all, but I put a little bit in there. And then melted butter, and then sprinkle this over your cauliflower, we're gonna to toss it around. You could technically take this out and do this in a bowl, but I didn't want to dirty more dishes, okay? And remember, the pan is hot, so I'm just being very gingerly, if you will, so I don't burn my fingers. And we're just tossing it, tossing it. Basically what you're looking for is for all that cauliflower, to have a nice light coating of the buffalo wing sauce. And if you guys like them really spicy, give it another hit of cayenne pepper right over the top. If not, skip it, okay? Spread this around. This is why you wanna use your old baking sheets because this is where your pans get destroyed, okay? And then this whole thing goes back in the oven for another 10 minutes, boom. And then we're gonna finish it up and that's the final product. So, in the oven. 10 minutes, and how easy is this? After the 10 minutes, it's gonna come out and this is what it's gonna look like. You are gonna have these final, crispy on the outside, lightly coated with the, has a nice little batter and the heat of the buffalo sauce. 
And how awesome and fun is this? I like to serve it just like you would do with wings. So I serve it up with some um, celery and carrots and then you can either do ranch or blue cheese depending on where you roll. Here on the East Coast, we do blue cheese. When we used to live in California, everybody did ranch. So how easy is that? I'm gonna pop on really quick now and see if you guys have any questions. Whoa, -oh. let's do a little tester. Where are we here? Is that? Dip it. Mm. Pop it. So good. So good. <laughs> it has a nice little crunch on the outside. And not like super, super crispy, but that coating really sets up. And then, like I said before, the parts that touch the pan get nice and crispy. And my husband was asking me, could you do it with broccoli? I bet you could. I bet you can do the very same thing with broccoli. If you wanted to make a big tray and do cauliflower and broccoli. Like, why not, right? Okay. Let's see. Um, would you consider making a healthy buffalo chicken dip for the Super Bowl? Yes, I would consider it. Honestly, I've never eaten it before, and I was just talking to my friend, Lisa, who's on live. Hey, Lisa. Um, I'm not even sure what ingredients go in there, so I need to look in those, look at that recipe and see how we can make that clean and delicious. I have a feeling it'd be pretty easy to do. So I would consider it. Will I actually do it before the Super Bowl? I don't know, but I will consider it. Um, and that's it. Brianna from New Jersey is definitely going to make these for the Super Bowl. Celine says they look delicious. Victoria from New Mexico. Janet, Jennifer, thank you guys so much for joining me. I was so organized today, right? Like mm -hmm. it's only, we usually do these for like 30 minutes or so, but we're done. So that's it guys. TGIF, enjoy your weekend. I'm going to post the recipe for you. It will be on YouTube and on my website tomorrow and I'll post it here on Facebook as soon as we finish up. Okay. So thank you so much. Have a lovely Friday and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Cheers. Hey guys, it's Danny and I have hot sauce in my throat. <coughs>